Once upon a time, in a vibrant city nestled between lush forests and towering mountains, lived a young girl named Samantha and her loyal dog, Sparky. Sam was no ordinary girl. She possessed the extraordinary ability to fly, soaring through the skies like a bird. Although Sparky didn't have any superpowers, his intelligence and resourcefulness made him the perfect companion for Sam's skyward adventures. That small snippet of a video you just watched is actually created with ChatGPT and Steve AI. Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry and I'm from Product Creation Formula. Here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. The first thing I chose to do when I created this cartoon was to go straight to ChatGPT. And all I did was say, create a cartoon, make it about a real per, about real people and real animals. You can make the main character fly like Superman if you want, not the animals because the animal does not have superpowers. Now, it gave us a bit of an outline and so forth. And then I, all I did was write, say, okay, now write the story. And this is what it wrote. Now, I'm not going to read the entire thing because we don't, we're not here to, for me to read it. So another thing I went and did was I then went across to Eleven Labs and I placed the text in there. And this is what I came up with. I have my own voiceover that I've put in. Unfortunately, it still has an American accent because I have to upload at least three hours of my voice for it to pick up on my Australian accent. However, saying that, this is what it, this is the voice that you listened to a little while ago. Towering Mountains lived a young girl named Samantha and her loyal dog Sparky. Okay, so as you can see, the voice is there. I then downloaded this and went over to Steve AI. Now, Steve AI can help you to create animated videos. Now, to avoid having to worry about doing, you know, trying to figure out how to get the voice to sync up, all I did was I went straight over to voice to video. Now, this is not voice to animation. However, we can still make it voice to animation. And how we do that is we click upload. And then what we need to do is find the audio we wish to upload. So we just click on that. Okay, so here it is. This is the 11 Labs one that we downloaded earlier. And all we have to do is click on that and it will then put this straight into here and it will create the voiceover for me. Now, this doesn't usually take too long. And then what it'll do is it'll transcribe it and then turn it into a video. Now, you will need to do some editing to this primarily because the cartoon may not necessarily match exactly what you want it to do, which is where you come in and start doing some changes for yourself. Now, another thing we need to do is go down to the bottom here and we can choose this one here, click on there, and I'm going to just go adventure. And then I'm going to go here to, this one says live video. And this is where you need to be really careful. You click on this and it needs to be animated video. And this will allow me to do all sources. Now I'm not clicking the music or the highlights. And then all we have to do is hit next. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to be able to choose a template for you to use. Now I'm going to be choosing this particular template and then it's going to create the video. And while it's creating the video, I'll pause it and we'll be right back. Now it's actually about a young girl who become, who is a superhero and she can fly and so forth. And, it's about a girl named Samantha. Now, since once upon a time a vibrant city nestled between lush forests, towering mountains, lived a young girl named Samantha. Well, that's not quite right. <laughs> Let's now change this over here. Now, all we have to do is click on him and then go change character. And I'm thinking we'll choose this girl right here. And we don't want her just walking like that. It's about her and her dog. So let's go find an action that's going to include the dog as well. So let's click on that and let's go dog hit enter and see what it comes up with there we are her walking the dog sounds looks like a really good option click on that double click on that and let that put that straight in there now you can't see the dog right now so all we have to do is click on that bring it down just a bit so we can see the end shrink it down then bring this straight back up into the thing so you can actually see her herself you can also expand it up if you wanted to make it a bit bigger okay now all we have to do is go through frame by frame to be able to create to correct this now of course this is not the right person, so let's change the character over and we'll make that Samantha. We'll make that over here. We'll make that her, which is the right one we want to choose. There we have it. So she's now flying through the air. Let's keep moving on. 
Although Sparky didn't have any superpowers, let's change this over to an actual dog. And of course, what we need to do is change the character. So let's go, uh, go over here. Now what we're going to be doing is actually going to be looking for a dog in this particular case, because it's speaking about Sparky. So let's scroll down here and we'll look for Sparky. Scroll down until we find the dog. There we are. That's Sparky right there. Now let's click on him. Now, of course, we can shrink him down, but I want to change actions before we do that. Now I want to say intelligence. Okay, so I think this is a good one where he's sitting on here writing at a desk. That looks like it's pretty good. So we'll have him sitting there. Let's shrink that down a bit so it looks a bit nicer. Fits the frame a bit better. We'll bring that up. So you can actually see he's an intelligent dog. So much so he can actually write at a desk. That'll do. Okay, so now all we need to do is move on from frame to frame, fixing it to match the story. But one of the things I will do right now is we'll go over here and have a look at the pricing of Steve AI. Now, just to let you know, this is not an affiliate link, it, but I will put a link in the description down below for your convenience. And as you can see, the basic level is $180 a year or $15 a month. It gives you 720p resolution, five video downloads per month, and also multiple video styles, live action and animation. No Steve IR branding and 10 credits to use with the premium assets. Over here, you've got everything in basics, plus 15 video downloads per month, which is much better. 180p, which is high resolution. 10 voiceover accents in English and 25 credits. Now over here, you have everything in the starter plus 40. This is the $60 a month. The other one was $45 a month. And this is the one I'm currently in. 2K resolution, 20 video voice, 20 voiceover accents in a month. 50 credits to use on premium assets in a month. That is the basic plan of Steve AI. And this is how you literally create a cartoon for yourself. Now, okay, the one thing you can't do with Steve AI is put two characters on the screen together, which is a shame because the story sometimes would work much better if it had a second character in it. It would be a lot easier to be able to create this video. If you just want to get a basic video going, which is engaging, and also able to tell stories, then you'll find that this will be the perfect companion you need for your video creation. Now, I'm not gonna go through the entire thing right now, but once you've done this, all you need to do is hit publish. And then what it'll do is you can then choose whatever, depending on which plan you're on, will depend on which whether or not you can actually do, you know, 1440, which is what I can do, or 1080, which is what, you know, some people can do as well. And then once you've done that, and you've got it set up, you can then choose the one you want and download it as you wish. And you can also, if you want to, you can add music to it too as well, which you can then upload it onto YouTube. And the best part about it is the voiceovers. The voiceovers in Eleven Labs match the voiceover. Now, let me just show you one other thing. I'm going to go back to the workspace and I'm very briefly going to show you how well this lines up with the voiceover because that is one of the key points which is one of the reasons why I love to use the voiceover with Steve AI. Now let's go and have a quick look at what it's like. We'll start from the very beginning. Once upon a time, let's go here. Now I'm gonna pause the video until it starts. So let's hit that and we'll wait and see what it's like. Once upon a time in a vibrant city nestled between lush forests and towering mountains, lived a young girl named Samantha and her loyal dog, Sparky. Sam was no ordinary girl. She possessed the extraordinary ability to fly, soaring through the skies now, I do know for a fact that this will line up because every time I've done this, it's lined up perfectly each time. It's just this is because I'm recording a video, it's got a little bit of lag. So that's OK, though. Now, I also choose to I can choose to hide the text if I want to. If I don't want to have any text in any of the video, I can do that and it will hide the text, but it will still look really good. And if I wish to, I can just do that on every frame. So as I'm not having to fight with it, especially if the text is a little bit out of line which it can sometimes be. But saying all that, this is how you create cartoon video using ChatGPT and Steam AI. All right, guys. Now, if you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, also too, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Steve AI creating cartoons like that. Also, to let you know that right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube things you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now, if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. 
Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.